Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In this one we're going to be talking about how to create a conditional access policy to block legacy authentication. So if you've ever done email administration back in the day you're familiar with you know, IMAP, POP, and Office 2010 and they have a lot of legacy authentication protocols that we just you know, we, we don't want to keep up with in the cloud. Um, so the implementation for this is the same as most of the other ones. We're going to create a conditional access policy basically blocking any of these things. And this one's actually templatized. So if we go over to our conditional access screen, we can create a new policy from template. And every time I look in here, they have new stuff. So let's see. There we go. Block legacy authentication. Now we're going to say, I like to capitalize my policy names personally. Uh, we're going to put this policy state to on. Oh, you yeah, actually don't. No, we're going to put it to report only because it doesn't give us the option to edit any of this. Let's go ahead and create it and we'll get in there and edit it. Alright, so all users, of course, it automatically selects me going by the template. Let's get our break glass admin in here. Right, so we're including all users on all apps. And the condition is exchange active sync clients or other clients. And we are going to block that access. Right. Acknowledge this. Let's flip that to on. Hit save. And now we've got a policy to block legacy authentication. So we should see that reflected on our secure score within the next 24 hours. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.